Let's create a security group in Windows Server 2022. As you can see here in the lower right hand corner, I want to go into Tools and Active Directory Users and Computers. And I'm just going to choose from the Users folder. Now you can see that there's no icons on these folders. That means they're folders. But this one, the Domain Controller, has a little icon on it. That means it is an organizational unit. So that's why I refer to the Users folder as a folder. So what I want to do is I want to right click and choose New and I'm going to choose Group. And we see the Group box, box pops up and I'll just call this one Test Group. And by default you're going to see Domain Local, Global, and Universal. So what do those mean? Well Domain Local is the local domain that you're on right now and if you apply it to that it's only going to affect the one domain that you have. If you have multiple domains, you want them to apply to multiple domains within a single forest, then you'll want to click Global. If you have multiple forests and domains, you may want to click Universal. And a lot of times Universal groups will show up if you have a merger where you have more than one Active Directory domain and forest, and you want to share resources between uh, the two forests and domains. And in my case, I only have the single domain. So if I chose Domain Local or Global, it wouldn't matter because I only have one domain. Now under a group type, we have security and distribution. So I can choose distribution if I have an exchange server and I'd like to set up an email distribution. I don't have one of those. Almost everybody nowadays is going with Exchange Online and this would not affect Exchange Online unless you had a hybrid situation with Exchange on, on premises as well as Exchange Online. So you can pretty much ignore the distribution option. And I'll click OK and there's my test group. Now I can go into my test group by double clicking and choose members and click add and I'll just put in domain users, click check names. I could also add in individuals and click OK and apply. Now if I go to my individual user, double click on it, go to member of, we can see it got added into the test group. So that is how we add a security group in a Windows server in an Active Directory, Windows Server 2022.